Don't blame yourself, Julia. I don't. And I did. I used to blame you for everything, but I don't anymore. I got past it. And yeah, you, you did introduce me to a wild life, but on some level, I had to have been looking for it because I never said no. I just let you sweep me up in it, and I could have stopped myself, but I didn't. You're being kind. <clears throat> I'm grateful. And I will never, ever forgive myself for abandoning you. You were pregnant with our child. <sighs> I know you were. I always will for the rest of my life. I regret it. Listen, Eve. You are such a wonderful woman. You were back then. You're even more wonderful now. No, but my life is falling apart. But things have a way of working out. I mean, I'm sure TC can't stay angry at you much longer. I'm sure that Whitney will come home. She's a stable, sensible girl, just like her mother. Sensible. I know things look bleak now, but once everything cools off, it'll work out. Yeah, I hope so. Yes. Family will pull together. You have too strong of a bond not to. We used to. I'm not really still sure if we do. Anything happened like this to us before. Although I I can see now that it was always simmering just below the surface and you know, Whitney was just a catalyst. Just set off this explosion. I want to save my marriage, Julian, but Liz is there and she, she's just gonna jump all over this and use it to her advantage to move in on TC. You gave the perfect opportunity now. Liz wants to ruin my life, Julia. I know she does. She wants to steal my husband and my children. For months, she's been threatening to expose my past with you. And now she doesn't even need to do that. Because with this trouble between me and TC, she just walk right in. I knew I've worked so hard to get my life back on track. And to be a good wife, and to be a good mother, and to be a good doctor. And just the idea that she could just walk in there and she could just take it out. Oh, what can I do to help you? Oh, nothing. TC hates you. If you get involved, it would only make things worse. I want to do something. You couldn't count on me years ago, but you can count on me now. I'm here for you, Eve. Count on me, Eve. I'm here for you, no matter what you need. You have nothing to fear from your sister Liz or anyone else who tries to break up your family. I won't let anyone hurt you. That's what you said to me at the book cafe. I couldn't stand seeing you in pain. And you deserve all the happiness that this world has to offer, and you'd have it right now if it weren't for me. Let me make it up to you. What's wrong? No, this, this doesn't make any sense, Julian. Why are you being so nice to me? Oh. Oh, what is it that you really want from me? Can insensitivity come from, Julia? Now, what's, what's behind it? I mean, why don't you just cut to the chase and tell me what it is that you want from me? You have me all wrong, Eve. 
No, I don't think so. Your eyes give you away, Julia. You're keeping something from me. You always could read me better than anyone else. I knew it! You know, for a moment there, you almost had me believing that you had some miraculous spiritual awakening. That some last vestige of the kinder, gentler you that I used to know was there. God, I should be horse-whipped for buying that again. Damn you, Julian. It's obvious that you are never going to be anything but an arrogant, self-serving bastard. Engine to us. I don't give a damn. Well, you should. You still have a reputation and a life to protect. You don't want him getting back to TC that we were seen having coffee together, do you? As if you care. Well, believe it or not, I do. And you're half right about me. There is something I want from you, but it's not all that self-serving. Why do you think I'm helping you fix the car so TC will know about the accident? Probably so I'll be eternally in your debt, but it's not going to work, Julian. One of these days you're going to have to learn that you can't buy everything you want with a crane credit card. You have me wrong, Eve. Now sit down and hear me out. But you can't go anywhere anyway until the mechanic finishes up the car. And when I said that I would be here for you, it's not a manipulation in the sense you mean. I want you to be happy. And if a side effect of that is making you like me again, then, then all the better. But it's not a condition of the offer. You see, I'm... I want to be your friend. A friend? I don't know if you've noticed, but I really don't have many. As far as I know, you've never had a single one. Um, perhaps this time I did. And I'm sorry, Julian. You chose the wrong person, because I know you too well. Well, I was hoping that might work in my favor, and vice versa. I know you very well, too, Eve. Better than anyone in Harmony. I know you. And I care about you. Past mistakes and all. Well, most of those mistakes were with you. That's the point. I owe you. I couldn't stand seeing you in pain earlier, worried that you were going to lose your, your family, your marriage, even your job. And I can't bear the fact that what we shared years ago is what's threatening your life right now. I love you, Eve. Oh. Oh, you, you can't possibly. I know you doubt me because you don't think I have a heart. Father and grandfather spent years teaching me to pretend that I was born without one, but it's there, small and rotten, though it may be. I know it exists for a fact because it was shattered when I lost you. It was a long time ago, Jill. And I have felt very little of anything for anyone ever since. Which is why it's so important for me to be here for you now. Let me make up for all the pain I caused you in the past and the present. My love for you was really. Please believe me.